This is a, a talk about the HP15C timing tests. Of course, I always quote my buddy Voltaire. It's, you know, the better is the enemy of the good. We had the good stuff, but now Morovia is getting us some better stuff. We're going to talk about comparing the timing tests for the uh, vintage 15C, the DM15L, the big one from Swiss Micro, and the 15C limited edition, and the brand new kid in town, the CE collector's edition. So, uh, we're going to do uh, three sets of functions. Uh, functions and operators on real numbers with one or two arguments, that's set number one. Functions and operators on complex numbers with one or two arguments, that's set number two. And then we're going to run some special programs that has a little bit different twist. It's, uh, the listings are on the Excel worksheets, and each worksheet you will see the, 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 uh, the listing of the program. Now, the study is going to focus on the magnitude of the speed ratios. I don't think we're really interested in, in how, many, how many milliseconds it takes to execute a function, but we want to have an idea how do these calculators compare, and that's where we're going. Uh, for sets one and two, we will do, because we're using loops to test the function over and over again, so we have a baseline program to calculate the loop with no function, just an empty loop, we'll, you know, uh, and we divide the measured time by the number of loops, and which that can change between one machine and another one, and we call it T1. Then we inject a function or operator, run a simil the, the same loop, and we divide the measure time by the number of loops and get a T2, and then we calculate the function or operator time as T2. Now, T2 minus T1. To be exact, uh, the calculators are also doing copying X to last X and may, may be doing some stack manipulation, so all that is actually included in the timing. There's no way to separate, it, uh, separate the exact timings. Here is the baseline for the single argument test. Now, label A is, uh, triggers the program, uh, and uh, I trigger the program by assigning the number of iterations. That goes in register I. And label zero is the timing loop, and then I pull the content of register zero, and that the contents will change based on what I'm testing. And here would be uh, the function if I'm using a function, and then I decrement and skip if equal uh, register I, resume the timing loop, and then exit. In the case uh, we have uh, two arguments, it's very similar except I pull the contents of register zero and one, test the loop or include a function or operator in this case, like plus or minus, and, and then continue. And then the go-to will resume. This is the timing loop. This is the program loop. Uh, in the case, yes? A question. Are you making an assumption that when the, uh, the function is executed, that the stack is in the same condition as when you started? Because if you have something left over, you're filling up the stack, and that, and, and that would. I'm, I'm ignor uh, uh, but it's not. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to drop the stack. Whatever there is, whether it's zeros or whatever, they're not being uh, evaluated by the function, so they they don't affect the performance of the function. It's like junk data, you know, in the yeah, stack. Yeah. yeah, but it does. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm in all the tests. I'm using the exact same arguments. Yes, that that is a point point not lost on me. So, uh, in the case of a single complex argument, again, oops, sorry, I pull the contents of register zero and one, and then do f of i to, to convert these into a complex uh, uh, number, and then I, I uh, execute uh, the uh, uh, execute the complex function. And then in the case of the, uh, when, when I have two uh, complex arguments, I pull the contents of registers zero and one for the first complex argument, and then the contents of uh, 
contents of registers two and three, convert it into a complex number, and then perform the complex operation. And then, of course, decrement here, resume the looping. Uh, here's a sample baseline for a single argument. And as you see, this is the uh, Vintage 15C, the Swiss Micro Machine, the LE, and the CE. And this row has the number of loops. As you can, as you can see, it, it changes per machine. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then I take three timing values, and then I average them, and then I divide the average uh, time uh, over the number of loops, multiply by 1,000 to get the timing in milliseconds. Most of the testing is done in milliseconds, with few exceptions in, when the, the testing is slow. Uh, do you run the I'm sorry? 12 or 48 megahertz on the DM machine. USB powered or battery? Fast or slow speed for the DM? Uh, uh, battery powered. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, uh, then we have the ratio here. I divide this number by 84 and I get this is the speed ratio. So these are the speed ratios for the empty loop. So the Swiss Micro is 4.6 times faster, the LE is 151 times faster, the CE is 156 times faster. Uh, this is a sample test data for the sign, and I usually, it, it, all the data are in the, uh, uh, is in the Excel spreadsheet in the proceedings of the, and I always put the arguments that I use consistently uh, on the rightmost column. So here I'm testing for 55, degrees, I picked 55, not 45, because it's not a well-rounded number. I don't want them to do clever tricks and come out with the solution very quickly. And again, here, there's an example. I have, for the vintage machine, I have 50 loops, 250 for the L because it's faster, and then 5,000 for the LE and the CE, 5,000 loops. And then I get the timings. Uh, the timings, I, I do them so that it's a minimum 30 seconds because my error to press, pressing the, the stopping the stopwatch is between 0.2 and 0.5 seconds. And of course, the smaller the time, the bigger the error is a percentage. So, uh, and then here uh, I get the average time, divide by the number of loops, multiply by 1,000 gets, I get the average time in milliseconds per operation, and then subtract the average baseline time of, of the empty loop, and then I come out with the milliseconds of, of the, the function or operator. Uh, and the last column here is the percentage in, a, in a, a speed ratio difference between the CE and LE. And in the case of the sign, it shows that the CE is 4.3 times faster uh, uh, than the LE. And uh, here again, the uh, uh, Swiss Micro is 4.2. Uh, the uh, LE is right under 100, the CE is right over 100, uh, uh, that's the speed ratio. Because that's what we are really interested in. Uh, these are the results for the first set. We have uh, at the top the store, that's a very quick operation because you're just storing, copying something, there's no stack manipulation per se. But then here uh, you have the sign, inverse sign, hyperbolic and inverse hyperbolic functions. And uh, the, uh, uh, the Swiss micro, the speed, uh, looking at this, so we have two columns, the time and speed ratios. Of course, we're focusing on the data, the yellow columns. Uh, and here it's about four point something above. It's kind of steady. Uh, in the case of the LE, it, it varies a little bit under 100, a little bit over 100. And in the case of the CE, they're all above 100. And you can see in the last column the percentage difference between the, uh, the speed ratios is, uh, you know, 4 even to 5%. I had heard that maybe it was 9%. I've never seen anything uh, 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 that hit 6% or greater. So. Uh, uh, but uh, of course, also keep in mind that the old bugs of the LE are resolved in the CE, so that's also a big advantage. Uh, here, again, the first two functions here, the uh, natural log and exponential, you have 
about four percent, close to four percent advantage. Again, when you look, and then these are the miscellaneous uh, functions. I put random here with the rest. I did not want to create a separate test for random. I just would say recall zero and just put random. So it doesn't make that much difference in 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 the in the timing. Uh, the uh, the the Swiss micro it's still four point something uh, f even on the higher side above four and a half the uh, LE is doing well here we have like 170 uh, ratio uh, and the uh, CE also does well but here is interesting uh, in some cases the percentage is negative meaning the LE beats the CE. I was, I was very surprised to see that. Uh, so uh, it depends on how they implemented this stuff. I cannot explain what I'm just kind of measuring. Uh, OK, here is when we have two, ar uh, two arguments. We have the power and then the basic operation, and then other, other operations like percentage, percentage difference, polar, rectangular, and so on. Sigma plus integrate and solve. Uh, again, the uh, L is the ratio is four. Even slows down here a little bit. Um, in the case of the LE, it's it's higher. Here there was a bug, so I couldn't record anything. Uh, and uh, it goes here up to 160, 162 times the the ratio over the uh, vintage uh, C. And you have also uh, uh, good, generally good results. But compared to the trig, uh, the CE here uh, generally uh, falls a little bit behind. It's a little bit slower. Uh, for example, in the case of sol uh, solve, the CE is about 2.5% uh, better than the, than the LE. This is the summary of the statistics of the real functions. So the, uh, the Swiss micro has a, a mean of 4.38, uh, let's say 4.4 uh, speed ratio with a standard deviation of uh, 0.3 and between a minimum of say 3.2 to 4.9 uh, times faster. Uh, the LE is, uh, averages 123 and standard deviation 24 goes between 98 and 175. And the CE goes between 126, slightly higher. Standard deviation smaller, goes from 102 to uh, 176. This is, I would say, a statistical tie, uh, basically. Uh, and the, uh, the percentage difference in speed ratios, the average is 2.72. Let's say 3%, if you want to kind of round it up. Uh, and the standard deviation is also high. And you have a minimum of uh, minus 2.7 in favor of the LE. And then, of course, in certain, uh, 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 the best is 5.4% better than the, than the LE. For the complex functions, uh, again, uh, we have a smaller set. We have the basic sign, basic hyperbolic, uh, and log lin, and uh, 1 over x square root and x square. Again, the speed ratio for the 15L uh, is 4 point something, except here it, it falls down. I don't know why. Uh, uh, the LE does OK Go, you know, from a 99 to 126 here. Uh, for some reason, uh, they seem to be tripping over the hyperbolic tangent, all of them, even the LE. Uh, and then the percentage difference it varies between, you can see here, four, three, uh, uh, two. These are the complex numbers. And then these are the complex operations. Again, um, uh, the speed ratio uh, uh, for the Swiss micro is four point, around four and a half, roughly. Samir? Yes. Can you go back a slide one second? Yes. Are there any math geniuses here that have an idea why it behaves so differently on uh, the hyperbolic the tangent? I don't know. Um, not, not a math genius, but I know in like the HP 35 realm, some of those are calculated with um, identities. 
they're using Cordic and it can't be calculated directly. Or it can be calculated oh, directly. Oh, so it's not using Cordic. Uh, well, it, it would use a Cordic, but it might have to do a square root and then something else. And then something else. Okay. 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 Yeah, uh, that was surprising. And then uh, speed ratios here, it's, it's about 150. For some, uh, the division is more complicated math-wise, so that's why it's slow. And even both the LE and the CE is slow. The other operations, they, they do well. Uh, well, actually, multiplication is also slow because it's more involved. Adding, subtracting is very straightforward. And this is the uh, summary. The uh, Swiss mic micro has, again, 4.2. That's a kind of a steady statistic. And it ranges from, two, let's say, 3 to 4.5. Uh, the LE is 114, uh, the speed ratio average. 22 standard deviation goes from 69 to 151. And then the CE is 117, slightly a hair uh, higher. And it goes from 72, slightly higher than the LE, and uh, slightly higher than the uh, LE in, in complex uh, operations. <coughs> Sorry. And the speed ratio is about 3% uh, th uh, uh, faster. And it goes from 1.2 to 4.4 times faster than the LE. The complex math is, I guess, more evolved, and they probably they do more checking and all that in, in the background. Uh, the special test I have uh, picked four four special tests. The first one combines testing the solve and integrate. The se uh, second one is random search for an optimi uh, optimization for a function with two independent variables. And the third one is a random XY data for linear regression. And the fourth one is a matrix inversion from Valentin Abio. He put it on the HP Museum, and I took it and uh, ran with it. So. so the first one, solve integrate, I combine both operations. I use integrate to calculate an approximation of the Bessel function at order zero using this function, this expression. And then I use solve to find where this function is equal to 0.4. So, uh, and these are the results. There's no baseline program. I'm, this is sort of the timing. So uh, in the case of the first two machines, I did just one loop and then five loops for the other two machines. And uh, the ratio, again, for the Swiss Micro is 4.2, 107 for the uh, uh, LE, and a little bit faster for the 112. And uh, the LE seemed to be 4. Point, say, 4.5% four fast, uh, faster than the, uh, uh, than the LE. And uh, the solution, x is 1.69, where uh, this function is 0. And I use fix 6. Uh, because it does make a difference. Uh, the second one, the second program is a random search optimization. I have a simple function with two variables, x1 minus 1 squared plus x2 minus 3 squared. Optimum values are 1 and 3. I test the speed of calling subroutines, just general calculations, random numbers, and the square function. Sort of just, you know. And I search for the random values for both variables in the range of uh, 0 to 4 for both variables. And I keep track of the least values. My goal is not to get the best results. My go goal is to see, within a certain number of iterations, how fast does it take you know, to accomplish the task. So for the vintage CL, I do 25 uh, iterations. For the Swiss Micro, I do 100, and then 3,000 for the other two. And uh, here, uh, I'm uh, doing timing in, uh, yeah, in milliseconds. Uh, the uh, speed ratio for the, L, uh, for the L is 4.7. That's pretty good. And then for the uh, uh, LE and CE are 156 and almost 160. So the, the CE is about 2% faster uh, than the, uh, than the uh, LE. Uh, randomized linear, here I test linear regression with just 25 at random, num ra random numbers for x and y. So the, the loop clears the statistical register, so I start fresh, accumulate 25 random values of x and y in the 
statistical register, so it's doing all those sigmas. And then I calculate linear regression coefficients, and I repeat the above three steps for any number of times I want. And in the case of the vintage C, I do it twice. For Swiss Micro, I do it eight times, and then 250 for the LE and the CE. And again, I get about a little bit over four and a half times speed ratio for the, the L, uh, and the LE is 132, and a slightly higher number for one, uh, the CE. That's a difference of a, a hair above 3%. The matrix inversion, I use the program that Valentin Albio uh, put on HP Museum, and I uh, tested seven by inverting seven by seven random matrices. Now, I discovered that the LE had a bug. Now, the bug itself was relative to the test. If you use it normally, which is just one, you know, just run it, it won't show. Uh, and the bug was the LCD goes blank while it's looping until the end of the program, and then it gives you the result. But that causes uh, a, s a slowing down of the program, and I estimate about 13% delay between uh, C and LE. Yes? Is there a time? Huh? Your time's getting close. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty much the results here. Uh, the difference is 17%, and if I subtract uh, what I expect to be 4%, that's the 13% delay that the bug is causing, you know. And I think, so the DL is about 4.4 uh, plus point faster than the original 15C. The CE, uh, the LE is 100 to 170 uh, 70 times faster than the original 15C. And the CE is 100 to 170, about the same. Uh, and the CE is three to four percent faster than the LE in, in most functions, in some functions it's not. So, and that's it. Thank you.